Good morning. We continue with business. Chapter 5. Supply. When we talk about supply, supply simply means the quantity of goods producers are willing to produce at a given price and time. So it will be supplied if there's no agreement, there's no agreement, there's no compromise reached in that market. So that's why I said it's the quantity of goods suppliers or producers are willing to produce at a given price and time. So there's a market price. So because there's a market price, that's the price of agreement between demand and supply. That makes suppliers want to sell. So the willingness and abstract that place, the willingness and the ability because producers have to produce a product is called supply. Do you understand supply? Yeah. Great. That's about supply. Then we go to the supply curve. Why do we call it a curve? We call it a curve because it's a graph that represents the direct relationship between supply, the quantity supplied, and the price of a product. Why do I call it a direct relationship? It's a direct relationship because of the law of supply, which is the higher the, the, higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied. The lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied. So there's always direct relationship, unlike demand, which is inverse. When the price is increasing, supply will increase. When the price reduces, supply will reduce. That's why it is direct relationship. Do we understand direct relationship here? Yeah. Do we understand this? Yes. Great. Then we go to the graph here. There's always a movement. There's always a movement along the supply curve. Why is there a movement? There's a movement because price will change, quantity supply will change. And a change in price could be an increase in price or a reduction in price. A change in quantity supply could be an increase in quantity supply or a reduction in the quantity supply. So based on the law of supply, we said the higher the price, the higher the quantity supply. So I'm going to use the board, for example. So here, we have the quantity supply to be 10, 20, and 30 units. These are the units. And the price are in gold, we have 5, 10, 15. So there's movement along the supply curve. Stop writing, please. There's movement along the supply curve. The price is constant at 10. So there's a change in price. So we assume that the price is, the market price is at 10, for example. So at $10, there's a change in price to an increase in price and a fall in price. How does this impact in the supply curve? A fall in price from $10 to $5 will bring about a fall in the quantity supplied from 20 to 30. So there's contraction. Based on the law of supply, the lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied. The, the price was 10, the quantity supplied was 20. As soon as the price fell from 10 to 5, the quantity supplied reduces from 20 to 10. Do we get it? The lower the price, the lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied. Do we understand supply here? Then, on the other hand, if the price increases from 10 to 15, the quantity supplied is expected to increase. Based on the law of supply, the higher the price, the higher the quantity supply. So if the price increases from 20 to 30, if, if the, sorry, if the price increases from 10 to 15, the quantity supply will increase from 20 to 30. The higher the price, the higher the quantity supply. Expansion, do we understand? Yes. Any question about that? Yeah. Good. Then we have the fixed supply. Why do we, do we call it fixed? We call it fixed because the supply curve is vertical. It's vertical. This is vertical, right? So it is vertical because there's a change in price, but it does not bring about a change in the quantity supply. So if you have a fixed supply, it means the price will change, but the quantity supply remains the same. So producers are unable to increase their supply, despite a change in price from 5 to 10. And even a fall in price from 10 to 5 would still remain as 20. Do we understand supply? So this is supply, supply curve, and a fixed supply. After now, we'll talk about other factors that determine supply. Any question up to now? No. Thank you.